tell Razor about the Dabbleverse. Oh, God. Oh, where do I even begin? This is so stupid. Uh, back in maybe 2020, I interviewed Stuttering John Melendez, who had a bit part on the Howard Stern show. He was like the mascot, whatever. Right. He would just do these man on the street. Okay, so you know who he is. And uh, I had been warned by my friend, Gino Bisconti, who also does a show on compound media. He's like, uh, like he said, you could ask him about stand up, but he doesn't really do it very much. Like he kind of barely does stand up. He's just kind of, yeah. uh, uh, like a, like a lol cow really. And right. I, uh, I had him Jim on Norton. Jim Norton did like a character where he was taking the piss out of him and he didn't say yeah. who it was about, but it was clearly about him. Like, yeah. He was... He's like a glory days guy. And right. I had, uh, I was like, I had kind of just started my podcast. And then I remember I was like kind of, you know, being the first half of the interview was great. I was like, oh, you were so funny back in the day, blah, blah, blah. I was like being, you know, overly nice to him. And then his camera froze and I was like too nervous to tell him that the camera froze. So, I, so we did the second half of the interview with his camera froze, literally yes. frozen on his face. And I was asking him about, I said, do you, do you think Trump has been good for comedy? And he's like, is this whole interview going to be about Trump? Because he like has tds and oh, it was boy. literally it was probably the first thing i mentioned about trump and he's like the whole interview gonna be about tds i'm like uh, about trump and i was like uh no dude i just you know i know that you kind of do comedy you sort of like dabble in comedy so i didn't know if like you thought that was good for stand-up or not and he's like what i can't believe uh, a dabble like he was so so triggered that i said dabble yes he, he you told him he dabbled in comedy that's yeah genius. i was like i know you sort of dabble and he's like i have a headline of 20 years i'm like, oh, not, like that I've, not that i've seen but sure right you should have been like so i hear you're a theoretical comedian <laughs> i really didn't mean it, it, I, I can see how it came off shitty but i did not mean it in a shitty way i thought he just sort of sort of did it here and there that's and genius. He, he couldn't get past it he couldn't get past it and then this whole universe was created called the dabble verse and it was a, a reddit page it, you know a reddit page came about uh and then like people just covering stuttering john on their podcast like be became like the dabble verse and and i it's queen <laughs> wow it's so silly but i just triggered him and then he was like towards the end of you knew he's like you do comedy right right and i said i dabble and <laughs> that bothered him too. <laughs> we all oh, I'm gonna watch this. How did I never hear about this? Ooh. Oh God. There. I mean, God. Do I find a clip? Is it really worth our time? Let's see. What? <sighs> I don't know. If someone can find a clip of like the uh, the dabble verse thing, bulk squat thrust. Gilbert Godfrey reading Twilight. It's amazing. You should check it out. Wow. I, I don't know if I could handle that. I think it was Gilbert Gottfried reading 30 sh 50 Shades of Grey. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> that is. And horrible. then he brought the nipple clamps over. <laughs> That's really good. You do a really right? good one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I steal <laughs> all, all of the condiments from the hotel room. No, not condiments, the toiletries. Yeah, that's what he think. He he had a thing for stealing all the. He would take every toiletry from every hotel room. He would clean out every room, every green room he went to. He would clean yeah. the place out. Wow, wow. Did you ever see his story about uh, Eli Weisel? No. <laughs> he was talking about awkward transit. He's being interviewed by Richard Belzer, also a dead comedian. Just two, <gasps> skel just two skeletons interviewing wow. each other. People said my dad looked like Richard Belzer. That's cool. I like Richard Belzer. He's one of my influences. I like Richard Belzer a lot. But he, uh, he was being interviewed by him, and they were talking about awkward transitions in interviews. And he's oh. like, Eli Weisel was being interviewed by this random person. It was like Merv Griffin or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Merv Griffin was interviewing Eli. You know who Eli Weisel is, right? Uh, he, author of um, right night something. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. About he survived the Holocaust, and the interviewer asked if if there was one thing you wish people would do after reading your book, what would it be? And Eli Weisel says, "I I wish people hadn't just stood by. People shouldn't." <laughs> They shouldn't stand by and just let it happen. And then the host turned to the camera and said, 
and we're going to have to ask you to stand by because <laughs> we have to go to a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh, it's the best transition ever. Okay, wow. My One of my uh, producers did find this link. I don't know if you... I don't know what, what we want to see of this, but Ted Trump has oh, been yeah. good for comedy. <laughs> the face. <laughs> is this whole interview going to be about Trump, <laughs> or uh, if you really don't want to talk about it, I just figured. Um, no, I, no, I, 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 I'm panicking. I is thought you had done. Trump? I thought you had dabbled occasionally in stand up, so that's why I brought that up. Yes, I dabbled occasionally. Really. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know if it was if it was a thing you were really doing or not, and you know, I wasn't sure. Oh no, no, no. I've been doing stand up for twenty years. I... Oh yeah, <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Okay, okay. that's good. Oh, I'm shitting my pants here. Have I'm you like, been getting up much in say. the last six months or so? Because the pandemic had just happened, and I'm like, oh, have you been getting up? And well, he's like, no. <laughs> since all my gigs have been canceled. Dude. COVID, uh, no, no, I haven't. Sure, we'll By say way, that's why they're canceled. But I had this is this is I my way, like, of, you know. This is my way of being like, no, you do fucking dabble because anybody who was anybody was getting up at secret shows during the pandemic. We were performing in parking lots, in backyards, in right. like outside of Froyo shops. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I haven't performed, and that told me everything I needed to know. I'm like, okay, so you're not really trying to, to do stand-up. Okay, just, just own up to it, buddy. 15, yeah. probably more, 20 gigs canceled due to COVID. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the states have been up, opening up here and there, How like awkward. North Carolina is back open. I just didn't know if, you know, the states yeah. that had sort of been making it work with I the love how you know, 25%. It's actually visually confirmable um, how you know. hard you're trying to bring this back on track. Oh, it's like <laughs> I'm going, Customers ah. allowed in, like if you were able to, you know, rebook anything in the last few months since things have opened up again. Card. But you know what I'm to say? I dabbled in stand-up. It's so disrespectful. He couldn't let it go. He brought it up again. Respectful. I haven't been disrespectful to you at all. And yet you respect me and say, I, oh, I, I didn't. I, I mean, I could have picked a different word. I didn't know that it was your main thing, honestly. I, I dabbled in stand up. Okay. Oh my God. Time for the wine. Ah, there we are. I mean, I mean that's so disrespectful. And I'm doing your show. I do, I'm doing your show. I, I, I honestly. I don't know the extent to which you do stand up. I mean, isn't that the point of an interview? Is like, oh, you can correct me if I'm wrong about that. I've never created my life. Dabbled in stand up when? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know. I don't know how much stand up you do, John. It's it was just an honest thing. I dabbled in stand up. Come on, that's a come on. So you're more than a dabbler. The face That's goes fine. so perfectly with what's he, what he's saying too. It's like, okay. I don't. Hey, I, I've been wrong. It's fine. It's like, it's really not a big deal, you know. You probably oh, didn't know so that I did stand up. Fucking awkward. It's okay. It's you know, we're not like. Uh, that's what an interview is. Oh, I have learned more about me. the other person. So. Well, you seem to be pretty. Um, uh, schooled and everything I'm else, so you would think that you've seen. I'm stress eating that I've been doing stand up. Oh. For, yeah. I felt hot. Like well, thank you. Hot. I wanted to prepare. My face felt like so, a 200 degrees. Like, right, you know, right. I, don't, I don't know all there is to know about stuttering John. So, hence the interview. With my Who no does? microphone, my no headphones. Wow. Um, so, I guess, all right. So, you don't want to talk, talk uh, about Trump anymore? No, oh I'll God. talk about him, but I don't know why. I, I mean, I didn't know this was going to be a political. You know, oh no! Up. I that's that was not my goal either. It's a political show. Oh, I, right, yeah. I've I've talked with a bunch of other comedians. Some people say he's he has been great for comedy. Some people think uh, the Trump jokes are getting a little tired. It's <laughs> it's a question that I was asking without it being like a triggering, you know, well, political you know, thing. I mean, you know, of you, you know, as a comedian, you know, you're a comedian, right? Yes, I dabble. Uh, oh god oh, solid oh, my gold. god we'll That's start with stunt joes whoops <sighs> oh my god my poor little fledgling podcast <laughs> face <laughs> yes. 
I could totally see you're like, it, it's like reliving a trauma. It is. Somebody <laughs> in the chat said this. This is what a girl sounds like at the end of a date when she doesn't want to get raped. I was like, that's space. That sums it up. Yeah. So what's the uh, quickest route out of here anyway? What's... Oh, we're going to do next time. All right, we'll definitely hang out again. Where are you, where are you parked? Back of the building? I'm going to go that way. Yeah, I just, I got a, a thing in the morning. Yeah, I got so. a thing. <laughs> I'm really tired. I got a rash yeah. that's developing. Um, it's, it's like when you're laying in bed, you're about to fall asleep, and suddenly, like, the most profound, embarrassing trauma you've ever experienced in your life just comes rapid firing through your brain like a bolt <laughs> from the blue, right? You get like the full body cringe and go completely rich. That that thing. And you know, like if somebody didn't I mean he's not and I only felt that way because every place that I had performed stand up like you can see on the website or on the, sometimes inside a club they'll post like who's coming up next like you can see who came to that club a few months before and who's coming a few months after and never in anywhere I had ever been had I ever seen stuttering John's name on any marquee that's why I was like like you have some clue of who is also touring yeah and I just never saw that so I was like you're fucking dabbling dude and if and, and like I'm at, at this point I'm definitely dabbling because I had a kid and it's been a minute but if someone right. said, oh, you're kind of dabbling stand-up, I'd be like, yeah, you're damn right. I'm fucking dabbling. We're all dabbling at life. We're all trying. <laughs> he got so triggered. He's like, and wait, let me bring this up. I tried to move on so bad. He's like, wait a minute. Let me bring this up again. You said I dabble. And I've performed at all these places. Wow. Imagine how much money he saves on condoms using his personality as birth control. Oh, yeah. It's highly effective. The the face though the frozen face was like it went perfectly with what he was saying even though it was frozen it was it was so mm -hmm. <laughs> it's perfect and if you think about it he could have been doing anything at that point he could have been it could have been a jeffrey tubin situation you don't know right and why wouldn't he realize that his own camera had frozen i don't know i don't know trash bandit this dreams like a real knife fight thank you trash yes Ooh, Matthew Hammond with an orange boy. Tennessee nearly had an electoral college. In 1962, the U.S. Supreme Court forced redistricting because populations of rural areas had been overrepresented in le uh, legislatures in proportion to those of urban and suburban areas. Oh, yeah. my God. You're like a little history book, Matthew. Yeah. Th those are the kind of things you would have to, like, deal with. It'd have to be probably county, countywide, I would think. But you could cross that bridge when you come to it. Or you could go over the side of it like Ted Kennedy. <laughs> it's all water over the side of the bridge it's all water <laughs> over the bridge <laughs> the edge lord dookie is the best dabbler oh yeah that's a puppet we have a lot a lot of characters in this dabble verse <laughs> terrace house guy jimmy jillikers it's the dabbler oh wow and oh we've also we also have something now called dabble con uh where people gather from the dabble verse yes. and stand up and uh dabbling <laughs> junior says dabble is the n-word for comedians apparently so <laughs> that is our word that is our <laughs> word <laughs> mute map maker you'd think he could take a joke no he absolutely can he has no sense of humor he could if he pretended it was a lovely turgid penis Oh, and he had all he had all, like, and then he was hitting on me in that same episode. He's like, "Have you ever was come back to LA? Uh, we could hang out, get a drink." Yeah, you ever heard of Studio Fifty Four? <laughs> well, I'll take you to Studio Fifty Three. <laughs> <laughs> it's ever a here at the Ram Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I like how his voice is gradually like transitioning to Carl from Aqua Teen. <laughs> 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 uh, Matthew David, what would the powers and weaknesses be of the dabbler? Oh, superpowers? God. Uh repel women. Weaknesses. Uh criticism. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Oh my god. This this episode was supposed to be about Razor Fist, not about me and my dabbling. Hey, all right. Sorry. I'm a chatty Kathy. Oh no. It's okay. Um that was insane. That was just you like just yank the ripcord and dick jokes come out. It's just that was <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Thank you for the chats. 
Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.